Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and today I'm gonna to show y'all how to make a walking sequence inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so in my timeline, I've already got a background laid out. I just need to find a 3D character. So I'm gonna go up to my studio, click on characters, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag in Tom. So I'm gonna drag him onto my background. And then once he's in there, you'll see that there's some properties here. So inside your settings, you have action one, and that's the first animation that's gonna happen. So we need to change that so that walking is our first animation. So I'm gonna click on that action one, scroll down the list of all the animations that are available to this character, and then click on walking. All right, so once that's set, you'll see that action one is now walking, and then in my clip here, it says walking as well. Now, if you look at your character on, on the background, um, it, you've got some options there. You can resize him. Um, you can create a new action from here. You can also recenter if you need to and you can change the direction in which he faces. So I'm gonna have him face the right in that way because I'm gonna have him start off screen and walk left to right and stop right here. All right, so once you've got your walking uh, action set, then you're gonna make sure your clip is selected and you can make sure that's selected by making sure the blue box is around it. And then you're gonna go to add animation. Now we're gonna go to properties and choose position. So once position is selected, you'll see down here in your clip that you have two keyframes that were added, all right? So you have an in point and an out point. Now, if you can't click on that first uh, keyframe, what you can do is you can put your mouse between the two points and then click on that little line and drag to the right. And that'll pull out the keyframe a little bit so that you can have access to it, all right? So we're gonna select that first keyframe and we need to tell Create Studio Pro uh, where we want Tom to start. So I'm gonna, once that's selected, I'm gonna drag Tom off, off the frame here and I'm gonna put him to start right here. All right, so once he's there, I need to set, uh, set an out point. So I'm gonna select my second keyframe here and then I'm gonna move Tom to where I want him to stop walking, which is gonna be about right here between these two buildings. All right, so with that set, you can already see if I scrub through that he's moving across screen and then he's gonna stop where I want him to. I need to drag this endpoint though to the point at which this animation is ending, which is about right here. So and as you can see, Tom does this thing before he stops his walking animation where he turns and then stops. So I'm gonna find that point at which he's about to turn and then drag this endpoint right there. All right, so now if I play it back, it shows he walks on screen and then he stops. All right, so good start, but it's a little, as he's walking, he kind of glides a little bit. And we can adjust that by double clicking on the keyframe there. And instead of the properties, we're gonna go to easing. And inside of easing, we can adjust um, the transition in which he's walking, right? So right now, I have it set to change both the in and out point. You can choose to set an in point a specific way and the out point a specific way. Um, but for now, let's just set both the in and out to be linear because linear seems to work best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and change that and then play that back. And now he's got a smoother walk and he comes to a stop and bam, we're good. All right. Now I want to add another animation. All right. So I'm going to click on my clip and up in the settings, I have my action one underneath that. I'm going to click on add new. So once that adds up, I'm, opens up the list of animations for me again, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose idle because I want him to kind of sit there for a second. All right, so he walks, and then he's just gonna go ahead and idle for a second. And now I want him to come out, and I'm gonna add another animation, add new under idle, and then scroll down, and I'm gonna choose selfie. All right, so now he's gonna walk out. He's gonna kind of idle for a second, and then he's gonna come out with his cell phone and take a selfie. So bam, it's kind of a cool way to create a little sequence there, and it kind of really brings your characters to life. It kind of lets them interact with their environment a little better, right? Um, so one more thing I wanna show y'all is how to have him walk off screen, right? So what if you want him to, to do something like he just did, and then he's gonna continue walking off, and the scene will be done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my clip again, and I'm gonna add one more animation and it's gonna be a walking animation. So I'm gonna scroll down, find walking, and then now, you know, he's gonna start walking. But he's not doing anything yet because we need to tell Create Studio Pro some more in and out points. So with that selected again, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add Animation, go back to Properties, and just like we did with the start, we're gonna add another position. All right, so now you can see it added two more keyframes, another in point and another out point. So what I'm gonna do is 
select that first endpoint, and then just click on Tom. All right. So now that I just set the point. I don't need to move him around um, to start anywhere. He's already in the spot I want him to start at. So that just told Create Studio Pro, okay, he's locked in now. Now if I go to my end point, I can drag him off screen here. So it now knows that Tom is walking out here. All right. So if I come here now and play that back, you'll see that he starts walking a little bit and then goes off screen real fast. Um, I just need to adjust a little bit. So he takes a selfie and then he starts walking about right there. So I'll drag my in point so it starts right there. And then I'll drag my out point so that it's the length of the entire walking sequence. So now we can play back, takes a selfie and then walks off screen. We do need to adjust the easing again. So I'll double click on that first keyframe, go to easing, make sure it's set to in and out and choose linear. So now when I play back this entire sequence, Tom walks out, he idles for a second, takes a selfie, and then he's going to go ahead and walk off screen. All right. So that's a really cool way on how to create a walking sequence inside of Create Studio Pro. Um, hopefully you got some cool tips out of that. Can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll see y'all in the next tutorial.